Hey, good evening ladies and gentlemen. Today in uh, Bamboo Archery, Ronald is showing me this particular thumb ring. Uh, no name for it yet, but this is made from yak horn. It's uh, white in color. So usually buffalo horn is black, but this is white and it has some streaks at the back there. Quite nice. So how it came into a picture. So Ronald here have a friend who makes the thumb rings. And uh, after a few iterations, this is the design, but how did it get here? Well, these are the few other thumb rings that inspired the design. Still no name for it. Uh, currently what? Hybrid? Hybrid is quite hybrid. <laughs> uh, hybrid, uh, yak horn, thumb ring, I suppose. Okay, so anyways, if you look here, this would be the Vermil. Vermil Turkish thumb ring. See, it's smooth. So um, even from my experience using a Turkish thumb ring like this, usually they will have the leather patch here so that your string can rest on it so it doesn't actually hurt your thumb. Uh, that is due to the flat profile of the bottom of the ring. If you notice, it's flat. Superbly flat. And then if you look at this one, this is the Lotus ring, also by Vermeer you will start to see the difference. You will see that the bottom of the thumb ring is curved to accommodate the thumb as compared to the Turkish, which is quite flat. So with the Lotus, what this does, it gives you your thumb joints a little bit room to breathe, so to speak. But not good enough. So like this particular one here, what model is this? Uh? Okay, so Ronald just said it's sort of a Persian ring. You can see there's a lip. There's a lip underneath and there's this triangle here. So, by understanding how each of these ring's features work, the uh, ring maker actually came up with this after a few iterations with Ronald here. So this is how the prototype looks like. It has a rather aggressive angle here and borrowing some features from the Persian you have the triangle here as well as borrowing it from the lotus ring you have a curve here so in a few seconds I'll be shooting a few arrows with this thumb ring surprisingly my thumb fits this thumb ring this thumb ring is actually Ronald's size surprisingly I can fit it so let's try to shoot some arrows of this and you can see how easy it is to use this ring like for me, uh, I do fast shooting, I do a lot of this tactical stuff. I don't usually use a ring because I believe that, uh, at least for me, the rings that I have, uh, regardless whether it's vermeil, it's horn, handmade or, you know, 3D printed, doesn't matter. I find that most rings actually interferes with my ability to knock the arrow fast and uh, executing my shot cycle without fumbling too much. So whenever I'm wearing a ring like uh, something like this, something like a horn ring like this, I always have that issue. But uh, just now, I tried it out a bit with this particular hybrid uh, Frankenstein horn handmade thumb ring. It actually does not interfere very much. So let's try to shoot some arrows. We'll be using a Taurus uh, Turkish AFG, 30 pounds and with the Taurus 500 spine arrows using this ring. So let's check it out. Okay, so here we are at very close distance because when you're trying a new ring, don't try to be a hero and go very far because you don't know whether you can handle it yet. So at roughly three bows length, I'm using this. The hook is not deep, it's very shallow. You just have to do your hand like this and twist it slightly inwards so that your index finger gives pressure to the string. So very easily. One. So if you notice, even though I'm knocking quite fast, it does not interfere with the shooting one bit. And my loading sequence, it's not, it's not interfering at all. The ring actually performs. And of course, you don't feel a string pinch at all. And I'm trying to try to get it to shoot as fast as possible with the shooting sequence with the ring on and of course 
doesn't hurt. And it gives a very clean release. Done. So this is the ring. Very interesting. If you want it, you like it, 200 bucks is yours. One week waiting time. And uh, let me try to take it out. This is how it looks like. You want to know more? Find us uh, at Eureka Archery, Bamboo Archery. We are on Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, as well as on the Shopee shop. So till next time, be an archer today.